This is the She Clouds Africa Monday status meeting. Today is April 2021. Um, we are recording this and it's time to begin. Uh, present are all of our She Clouds Africa participants, plus me, I'm Meg McRoberts, and I'm mentoring today's meeting. So, um, and you're all muted. So I guess, well, you'll, if you want to say something, unmute yourself. Um, does anybody have any issues they need to discuss? I know you just went over status at the end of the day Friday with Mark. So I'm kind of going to assume that everybody's at the same spot, right? Okay, silence is assent. Um, so what I thought we might do, I looked, and it looks to me like Onyinye has sailed through everything. Um, it looks like Esther and Lucy are ready to define a pipeline and that Sharon and Cynthia are ready to view the steps reference the next step. Is this true? um yeah and, yeah so um are we blocked on defining a pipeline just haven't gotten to it do you think you know how to do that i looked at the instructions and they are a little dicey so that's what i'm um what i thought we might do is do true open source status i thought maybe one of you would like to uh to open up your work area and and the group can help can work you through doing the next steps. Does that work? Now for some reason, Onyinye, um, did you use Blue Ocean to create your pipeline or did you go do it through the Jenkins dashboard and then a, a text editor? Uh, I used the Blue Ocean. You used Blue Ocean, okay. Yeah, I was, well, I was trying to figure out when I went looking at the detailed instructions, we have you install Blue Ocean, and then he gives you links to videos on how to do it outside of Blue yes. Ocean, um, yes. which is my my personal opinion. There's there's a lot of arguments going on right now. I think Blue Ocean is wonderful for getting started because it's it's kind of easy. You can't make many mistakes or it'll stop you, um, and you quickly get to see the structure of the pipeline, etc. The problem, I, what I also see is if I was writing pipelines all day long, Blue Ocean would get very slow and tedious very quickly. Um, I'd much rather be working in a regular editor. I could do it a lot faster. But to get a basic pipeline going. So Esther, Lucy, who wants to share? Draw lots. Well, Lucy, do you want to try it? Let's see, I'm going to stop sharing. And uh... whoops. Oh, chat, chat, chat. Lucy, are you sharing your screen? I think Lucy has some, I don't know, internet connection because uh, she wrote something in the chat, pardon, please. Oh, okay, let's see. Okay. Um, Esther, do you want to share? Okay, I um I can't share my screen right now because I haven't set up my laptop. Oh, okay. Um, yes. Okay. Um. 
Cynthia and Sharon, um, well, you've already created a, um, do you want to share and do it? Or I can pull up a lab and do it, but it'd be nice if one of you guys did. Or on Yin Yang. Uh, what are we meant to share? Sorry, I missed that. Oh, I'm um, going to share your screen and let's just define a little pipeline with Blue Ocean and see how that's done. And then we can look at the steps reference. And if we still have okay. time, we can look at the uh, snippet generator. Okay, I think I can share and then work together. Okay. Yeah. I'm not seeing any of you. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm doing wrong. Cynthia, should I share? Are you having any challenge? Okay, so this is basically to do a little bit of demonstration on how to create a pipeline, isn't it? For those people that haven't done it yet. Okay, I can't see what Wait, you're sharing. Can I share my screen? Um, my, I just got some internet connection issues. Uh, can everybody else? Oh, there it is. Now I see. Never mind. Good, good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. Should be something okay. Open version. Excellent. Yeah. So then create. Can you guys see this? Yes, I can. Yes, Does everybody yes, else see it? Yes. Yeah. So then it's create a new pipeline. And then we choose Git. I'll have to look for something on my GitHub. Okay. Wait. Let me see this. This could work. Then I'll add my URL here. Um, okay, so I can create the pipeline. Okay. Yeah, create pipeline. Uh oh, those are. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand what this error is. I don't I'm I'm not an expert here, but you did use HTTP and I I've always used SSH for Blue Ocean. I don't know if that's necessary. Did you make uh, it work before with HTTP? Oh you mean I should have used sorry I didn't say um go back to your GitHub. And see, I think it gives you an SSH okay. option. Oh, so this this one, I should have used this one. Yeah. Okay, try let me that. try to use. Yeah. Let's see. 
I should check and see for sure, but everybody I know prefers the SSH. We never tried the HTTP. See if giving it the SSH for the repository works. Oh, Nyanya, did you use SSH, SSH or HTTP? Yes, yes. I yeah. used SSH. Can you hear me? Hello, Cynthia. Uh, your screen is not moving anymore. Can anybody hear me? I can hear you, yes. Okay. Yes. I think Cynthia is having network issues. I apologize. My internet is not really good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mark warned me. He said, "Take keep my video off. That that does stress your internet." So, but I'm trying to use also the URL, the SSH URL, but I'm still getting. Uh, maybe I should also and see if it works on mine. You want to share on you? Yes, yes. So let me just. Yeah. Yeah, please share. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. okay. Where is this? Oh, I think I've used that before. I have to choose another project. Okay, so here's it. So uh, what I did basically is to add um, some stages. I added, I followed the declarative tutorial. So I added, um, I think the first stage was build. Build, yeah. yeah. Then I did step. Can you even just do a print yeah. message if you want? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if you would. Yeah. So I said, okay, let me not save yet. Then 
under the test, I did print message. And then deploy. Yeah. So we have three stages now. So if I save, then commit to master, or I could actually commit to a new branch, but let me use master. Yeah, okay. So you know, the first the first time you do it, you, you get that branch indexing message. I don't know why, but after that you'll get you'll see your commit message there. Okay. Yeah. yeah so and, and there you saw how it ran. Uh, it's done. Yes. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Yes, yes. it does. Um, so, have you all found the control S in Blue Ocean also? Not on me. Control S. You've seen that it actually pops the code editor for you. I'm not sure. You may have to try. Um, you may have to go back into the edit. Click the little pencil up at the top. Toward okay. one towards the right end. One, two, three, the fifth thing, yeah. Now try, now do a control S. There, and there you can see your pipeline code. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, and you can make, you can make, it does. yeah. It also generated the Jenkins file. Right, that's what the Jenkins file actually looks like, so. Okay. And that's what, what I can see, you know, if in real, if I were really trying to develop a pipeline, I would mm -hmm. go this far or, you know, get your stages in and then just copy paste this into my other file or just go in and, you know, grab it out. And start. Oh, but okay. you can edit this. Um, and you can make changes oh. and then update. Oh, okay. It's kind of nice. It's not a nice editor. I wish they let me <laughs> use the editor I wanted. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Thank you. So you can click update. I'll get it out of there and get you out of there. Okay. Okay. So, so does that I make sense? Sure. Esther and Lucy, you haven't done this before. You think that'll help you get going? Yeah, that yes. Really help. Yeah. Yes. Okay, then Onyenye, can you go back to your Jenkins dashboard? Okay. And mm -hmm. there you should find where are your objects? There we go. Um and Banka, that's the one we were just working on, right? Yes. Um if you Click that little arrow there that shows next, just to the right of Banka. Get a drop down. This? No. Banka, yeah, there, okay, see okay, that okay. arrow? Yeah, yeah, okay. click that. And then next to the bottom, see where it says pipeline syntax? Yeah, click that. Okay. And this gives you, this is wonderful thing. And this is the stuff that you guys are actually working on. So there's your snippet generator. Okay. And you see, you can choose something there and it will tell you what fields it needs. Um, for okay. this one, it needs a project to build in the quiet period parameters. Um, 
there are the question mark is the help stuff and i think you will find that some of it is excellent and some of it is worthless and but that's what you're here for yeah so there was a question i i, I was thinking mark would be available this morning um, ah. i needed to to ask him some questions regarding some parameters no, he's not here. Maybe I would I would ask the question on the Slack channel later. Right. Yeah. Mark, it's um it's two thirty in the morning where Mark is. Um, but yeah, but post it into Slack and he'll he's usually online pretty early. He should he's probably be online in three or four hours. So okay, yeah, post fine. questions. Yeah, he would know that. Okay. Um you have that. And then you can click, you've got the steps. It gives you a weird view of the steps reference. I'm not sure what that is, but over in the left margin, you've got all sorts of things that would be useful if your job were trying to write a pipeline, especially if the information was good. Um, okay. You can also, if you just Google, there's a doc page that has the steps reference. Uh, okay. And yeah, and there you see what it does. And then you'd have that little bit that you could just copy into your uh, pipeline if you needed it. So uh, I also wanted to ask this particular view. And then there is another view here. This, what's, what's basically the difference between the two screens? This year. Can you hear me? Okay, what, uh, what do you mean the diff? The snippet generator is actually a tool. Okay. <laughs> Whereas, and the, the steps reference is the documentation. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So you could, you actually could look, um, if you Google um, Jenkins steps reference, you'll find the doc page, which on the, this one, this one, it seems like if you click on one of them, it just opens the information right on the screen. Um, the other one, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hopefully so the, the question I, yeah. The question I wanted to ask Mark, though I was still asked, or maybe let me just give a little, uh, so these parameters here, okay, these arguments, we understand them and we know how to create help for them. But then this uh, nested choice of objects, this Boolean param credentials, uh, I tried uh, looking for each of them in the projects, but I couldn't find them. So I don't know if we're supposed to also add documentation for each of them. I, if you can, yes, I think that would be nice. Um, uh, now figuring out what they are is more of a challenge. Yeah, uh, uh, it's how to go about adding them because I, I, I would ask Mark the question. I would just organize the question and ask him. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. And you can, we're recording this so he can look at the recording and see exactly where you were. Yeah. So can I stop sharing? Pardon? Can I stop sharing my screen? Are we cool? Yes, I think so. Does anybody have any questions? Does this make sense? Is it helpful for you guys to get to your next steps? Yeah, it's helpful. Yes. Okay. It's helpful. Here, Always, if you're looking for one, I think one of the better documented plugins is Git because Mark's the maintainer of it. So when he's gotten very conscious of this stuff, every every time we sit down to talk about it, he goes, oh, I should add that to my Git reference. So, um, and of course, I get the feeling, I don't know that any of you want to grow up to be tech writers, but you see the silent effort from my end is I want to make sure that as coders, you understand how important it is to do this sort of documentation when you write your stuff. But that's the tech writers. Tech writers are obnoxious that way, so. Okay. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions or 
Um, want to do anything else or should we call it a meeting? Do you want to get to work? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. You're good? Yeah. Okay. Well, then let us end this meeting and I thank you very much. Thank you too. Thank you.